agreed to stay away! I lied. Yep. After calling off any further TCG challenges in my no attacking nor summoning video, which you can check out up here, I've come back with a burning passion, or writer's block, whichever you prefer. But the same question is brought into question. What are we even going to do? Focusing on one character has been the focus for three challenge videos so far, and I've already destroyed a team with only combat statuses. No other ideas fit. They should go in the trash. Wait, trash, trash, trash is kind of like discarding. Discard, discard, discard. Ah! Cards! Can you be Genshin Impact's Genius Invocation TCG without cards? The rules are very simple. We aren't allowed to use any cards. At all? Okay, okay, fine. We'll allow the character cards, but that's it. We can't play action cards for whatever purpose, buffing, healing, or ramping. But before you show this off as an easy challenge, there's one more rule we're adding. We aren't allowed to dice fix either. That's right, tuning itself is off the table. No more easy access to the elements, which actually would have been super easy considering cards were basically unusable now. We're going to have to hope with the deepest parts of our hearts that the TCG lottery will grant us our sweet reprieve. But in face of what might be the most grueling challenge, deleting one of the most important aspects of the game mode itself, can we still come out on top? Let's find out. Before we begin, here are a few of you viewers I want to shout out. If you want to have a chance of being up here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be sure not to do repeats. As you know, Genius Invocation TCG is very reliant on these things called cards. It's literally right there in the acronym after all. For any deck to even be a deck, we must have 3 character cards and 30 action cards. With the 95 current playable characters, you can make a total of 138,415 teams, ranging from hyper carries to stalls to some amalgamation in between. The action cards are even more hectic. 334 of them can create deck numbers too big for my TI-84 I had to buy for school next month. However, not one of these action cards combinations will matter for the simple reason that we aren't allowed to use any of them. That means our only form of leeway comes down to the 100,000 plus teams we can create with our character cards. However, one issue becomes readily apparent. How in the world are we going to even attack? While not inherently connected, using abilities requires dice, and the better ones usually require more dice of the same element. However, of course, rolling dice is a random thing, and unfortunately, they're more likely to come up tails. That's why you can expend a card to turn an unfavorable die into one you can use. But with that out of the window, we're stuck with whatever dice we're given each round. And on top of that, we can't play any cards to give us an upper hand. Fav Library is out, Jade Chamber is out, even our best emergency food Paimon is out both of her. We just have to deal with whatever dice were given to us with the only thing that will have any impact in our games, our character cards. Choosing the right ones can mean the difference between an easy stroll and a nightmare walk. But which character can not only deal good damage but also be forgiving enough to even take trash dice? Well, one comes to mind. I'm glad I have him see one because my man Risley sure will- Oh, wait, yeah, we can't take constellations in here. I forgot. Nonetheless, our very first 5-star cryo male slaughters the boar with his unique gimmick revolving around powered up normal attacks. Yes, you will need to get his skill up and running with 3 cryo dice like normal, but once you do, as long as Wolfman stays above 5 HP, he can use any dice to attack. It doesn't matter if it's Hydro, Pyro, or any other color of the rainbow. Risley can use it all. Okay, that's one down. What about his other teammates? Well, considering we aren't allowed any action cards, that does include fast actions and reduced dice cost to switching. So we're going to include Miss Super Califragilistic Expialidocious and Booze Boy. Yes, Mona's fast action swab is integrated into her kit, while Venti's reduced dice cost does need to cast his elemental skill first, but these small utilities might just be the saving grace between victory and defeat. However, a couple matches in and we're already running into even more complications. Our second difficulty is that we only have 8 dice at all times. The only way we're getting extra dice in a round is to either ramp, store, or save some. But as you know, all these cards are off the table. Not even Venti's zero cost switching is going to help us escape the fact that we can only do 2 attacks at most, if it isn't for Risley. Remember his chilling penalty? It not only gets rid of his crowd requirement, but it also reduces the amount of dice needed for a normal attack from 3 to 2. On top of that, his burst also gets cheaper the more times he gets healed or hurt. That means, hypothetically, if Risley gets hurt twice by the enemy team, he could not only do his skill, not only a normal attack, not only another normal attack, but he can then cap off the entire exchange with a burst that hits not only once, but twice! Adding all the damage, it is quite literally possible to one turn KO an opponent's card. With the balance of forgiving dice costs and consistent damage, it looks like Risley is the perfect hero for this challenge. What could go wrong? Oh that. There is one more obstacle this challenge presents us, and it's unfortunately the Achilles heel to this whole team. Healing. 
Every upside has a downside, and Ridesley's downside is that he hurts himself whenever he does a cheaper normal attack. Yes, he can heal himself with a normal, normal attack, but if the only thing saving him from death is the 2 HP he heals without that cryo discount, he is not living for long. Even if Mona can get a reflection up, that's only 1 HP she's protecting her team from. And despite Venti's almost guaranteed swirls and the freeze reaction this team gives, it doesn't provide enough firepower to take out the opposition before they take out us. And so, we have to find another team. Into the trash it goes. Wait. Trash. Trash. Trash is kind of like discarding. Discard. Discard. Oh wait, isn't there someone who loves discarding? Sinyan! Before I explain just why we're pulling out what's quite possibly the worst 4 star in regular Genshin, if you're enjoying this so far, please be sure to like, sub, and ring that notification bell to stay updated on future content. Also be sure to check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash gameperson06. Not only do I play the challenges you see here, but I play a lot of other fun games like Valorant Honkai and It Takes Two Solo. And one more thing, we have our Discord, the Gamer Person Party. Come hop in and have a place to talk with people of similar interests. There's personalized notifications, chat rooms, and even a suggestion channel where you yourself can contribute to the growth of our channel. Come join the Gamer Person Posse. I'll be ecstatic of your arrival. You've huh? probably given up all hope of finding a reason for adding Sinyan, but think huh? about it. If we can't use cards, if we can't tune cards, why does the deck even make us take 30 cards in the first place? Shh. Don't say it's because the game makes you. It's really because we can then throw them all into the fire. We're using them without using them. How about that? Sinyan also gives a much needed protection with her skill. Sure, it takes three pyro dice, but at this moment, I've swapped my logic stat for my luck stat. The two shields along with two pyro damage are too powerful to leave alone. It's like sucking life out of their characters, but even the mosquito will get full sometime. She may have the tankiness, but let's add in a second character that also infamous for discarding. The whale. No, not that. The all devouring narwhals gimmick is that whenever you tune or discard a card, it gets thrown not into the fire, but into the oh, endless void of its stomach. Me. When it eats three cards, it will gain max HP based on the dice cost of each card. The more cards that match each other's price, the more HP he heals, up to three. So, since cards don't matter in this run, why don't we just throw in a whole bunch of three cost cards? Not only will it give us the most amount of healing, but if we ever get to unleash its burst, we'll get stuff like this. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Since Sinyan can discard an entire hand with her burst, we'll be able to heal up to 9 HP at once. Plus, the elements we have to work with are amazing as well. Vaporize is a very simple reaction that deals very helpful extra damage. These two look like the perfect dream team, but a team in TCG is only valid if there are three cards. So who's the third? I tried putting Mona back in because she could help pull off more vaporizes, but there's actually something interesting when it comes to dice rolls for teams that have multiple characters of the same element. I'm not too sure about the specific numbers, but the dice will be skewed to the element that has more presence in the team. So since this team has two hydro and one pyro, there's a higher chance to get hydro dice compared no, to pyro, which has been a bit no, unfavorable. But if we're having a third character's third element, we'll need to find a way for them to be useful. It needs to be a character who can apply their element relatively easily. It needs to be a character that doesn't need to take the spotlight too often, leaving the door open for the ultimate whale hyper carry. Actually, it needs to be a character who can be our scapegoat, that one target for the entire enemy arsenal to completely destroy and demolish them. And I have just the character for that. Who else would be okay with throwing away their own children other than Apep itself? At the start of each match, it creates six Awaken My Kindred cards and shovels them into the deck. While it would be hard to pull it normally, remember, my luck factor has been running on 100% since like three minutes ago. If you're the impatient type, you can use three Dendro dice to grab one for free, along with dealing two Dendro damage for future reactions. Now that you have the child, you have two options. Either give it care or love with two Dendro dice to bring life into the world, or cast into the endless void of the whale's belly and have it pooped out the other side. You already know which option we're using. It's a bit annoying that Sinian doesn't always discard the correct card, but as long as you hold one or two of the children, just cast your burst, and all will be solved. Yes, you're probably screaming at your monitor that I'm literally discarding rule number one, but I'm going to discard that along with the rest of the cards inside the void by saying I literally can retry and retry and retry matches until I get the perfect dice. Nonetheless, we need to make sure we have the perfect strategy for the matches. Round one. Start with Apep. It's the one that doesn't really need to stay alive since all we need are its children. Try to get three Dendro and one Pyro dice from the first roll so that you can grab a child, then start farming for Sinyan's burst. Round two, keep attacking with Sinyan, then burst. That does mean you'll need at least four Pyro dice, so if you're that unlucky, just go back to Apep and wait for round three. But if you've gotten lucky enough, rock on and give all your cards to the whale. Which brings me to round three, go ham with the Narwhal. Now that you've gotten at least six HP with all the cards you discarded last round, you should have more HP than an average character and can start attacking. And that's really it. You just get a whole lot lucky enough to be able to pull this entire heist off. Now, did we do it? Here are a few clips oh, I want no, to show want... you. Oh, that's a cute photo. What is that team?
I gotta be careful because Wanderer can just snipe this guy out of nowhere, you know? He can't, he can't. Gotta watch out for that. I doomed my guy. I doomed him. No! Are you serious? He's gonna die because he's gonna normal attack and no matter where I go, good please. Leave my man alone. He ain't do anything wrong. I just need to get to her and ult. But I, I don't even have the dice to do it anyway, but uh This isn't worth fighting anymore now that that works. Why they didn't work with I know, it's so weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm I have 3375. Oh my gosh! Alright, yeah. That's okay, that's okay. We're good. We're oh oh you got lucky, man. Alright. Time to rock! Alright, alright. We're getting there. Look at that. And we got our nine health too. Look at that, that's amazing. We could kill her, actually. And to be fair, we don't really need that her that much, really. And there it goes. And he's gonna have a lot of food too. But not as much as me. Not as much as me. Uh I have to switch. I'm so sorry, Apep. Oh no. Well I have. oh no, because you have this. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no, please give me please, this is so good. No, are you serious? Ah And we falter at just the last hurdle, man. Ah uh. Ooh Classic Melt Team. I believe in you. Win for your followers. Thank you so much, Naz. Thank you so much. Now you're gonna Uh oh. I'm letting you die. Please die, like, relatively quickly. Because I want to switch to Sinian, and then I want to ult, and then I want to solo with this guy, because I really hope that's possible. Bye! Alright, good, but that means... But luckily, you're stuck on her now. And everyone's actually really hurt. Scratch that. I think probably from this, what I need to do is I just... I need an E again. Good dice. It was amazing dice, Clee. I do agree. Amazing dice. What? <laughs> Please don't have enough. Oh no, he's going to. Now disappear. No! It was amazing! Ah, oh, that was so good! And at that moment oh hi. Oh no. This is a meta deck. It's gonna happen. Up. So at least I get another guy. So then when you do your eat later. Yes, yeah, that's that's uh, that's what happens, yep. I'm taking the stage. Good thing is you can't deal ten damage at a time, so that's good. I'm sorry. Time to rock. Alright, uh, at least we almost get enough for him, you know. Oh uh, no you're gonna you're basically gonna kill her. How did the oh five <laughs> Five for a normal attack? What? Oh my gosh. No, I don't know. It's 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 real name. Look it up. Uh, of course. All right, tank it. Tank it, man. No, you shouldn't be able to do too much. It's a good thing. Oh my gosh. Wait. No way. Stay on her, please. Stay on her. Yes! Please! 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 Forget about it. Yes! Wait. No, Jungle can't. Jungle can't do anything. He can't do anything. Yes! Okay! Okay! Please don't leave. Please don't leave. What has happened? Oh, great. Are you serious? Oh, okay, good. Okay, he cannot do damage. Wait. Okay. Okay. Yo, chill. Everything lies down into me getting one hydro. One hydro. We got it!
Ladies and gentlemen, we overcame greater odds, destroyed grander obstacles, and have shown the world that beating an arena of champions opponent without using or tuning any action cards is a mission complete. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I appreciate your determination. If you like this challenge and want to see me do more, please leave a like, sub, and ring that notification bell for more. I'll be uploading the full recorded run of the winning match sometime this week, so stay updated. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash gameperson06, where I not only play the challenge you see here, but also jam out with other games like Valorant, Honkai, and It Takes Two. If you're going, consider visiting the Game Person Party, where you can chat with friends, hang out, and make the server a better place. And finally, make sure to check out these YouTube creators. Their challenge videos are amazing, and they inspired my own. Until next time, have a good day, night, etc.